Good morning. Happy Halloween. I never dress up. And I kind of don't like Halloween, but I dressed up today. And if you can't tell who I am, I'm Carmi from The Bear. <laughs> Love that show. I did see something where it was like, please don't dress up as your favorite characters from television this year because the strike and the studios are horrible, but I don't know. I'm not sure that's really helping the, uh, the writers. It's possible that celebrating our her favorite characters on TV provides writers with jobs eventually. <laughs> well, what do I know? I'm just going to do it anyway. All right. So I thought maybe I'd do something fun today. End something boring. Can't do something fun the whole time, but... I was thinking since it's Halloween... Get a little festive, make some Halloween decorations. Uh, maybe like a jack-o'-lantern that you can light up that acts as a fun light. Something creepy. Maybe, uh... Ooh, this is a good one. Maybe this one. This one's really cool. Oh, these are creepy. Or maybe a cute one. How about a cute jack-o'-lantern? Oh god. <laughs> that one's really cute. <laughs> yes, that's the one! <laughs> I think that's the one. that make a cute jack-o'-lantern and I think I already have a pumpkin I can start from let's see yeah look at that it's a pretty good one too is there already a jack-o'-lantern that'd be funny What is a to-go jack? To-go ja oh, jacket. What? Why is this a to-go jacket? Oh, it's like a coffee sleeve. Why do I have that? That's funny. So there's half pumpkins. I have so many different kinds of pumpkins from different packs that... Which one do I choose? This is the crop pumpkin. I think that first one looked the best, no? Let's see. This one's pretty good. The texture, I don't want it textured though. So I want the one that looked good sans textures. This one looks good sans textures. Whose uh, pack does this come from? Quaternius. Yep. His wins, so let's grab this. <laughs> Bring it into Maya. Poke some holes for eyes. It's gonna be great. Whoa, that is not the same pumpkin. Wait, what? Oh, it's got three pumpkin LODs. Wait, but none of those are the ones that I chose? Oh, I know why. Because that wasn't the right thing. It's this one. Hmm. There we go. So that just looks good without any textures. I feel like I should wait to do the fun stuff. Though. <laughs> Until the riffraff shows up. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's hold off a sec. Let's do some boring stuff. I gotta make sure, uh, I gotta confirm that that character that we added last week is fully functional. Um, I feel like she is. I feel like uh, everything was in place, but I don't remember. <laughs> this music's ridiculous. So let me just go through the motions. I think she's probably in town because uh, the quest is already completed from last time. Mm. That's right. Are you a butcher? No, man. I'm Carmi from the bear. You watch the bear? I mean, obviously I don't have his head of hair. You didn't watch the bear? Spoiler alert, he's a chef. <laughs> Come on. No? What about Yogi Bear? Can you do him? <laughs> I mean, I don't have his muscles yet. No, can't do it. This guy's jacked. He's got tattoos. I was gonna put on some temporary tattoos too, but couldn't find them. I saw the picture. Also, good morning, Mike. I saw the picture, it looked great. You guys had such a good time. I'm so far away, aren't I? I'm just missing everything. Why? Why do I do this? And why do I why am I moving even farther? Who knows? Oh god. How are you, Mike? You have a good time at Curdy Bear's party? Why are you? Let's analyze. Yep, let's analyze. Sure, take a look. Okay, so she's got a PR button. I need to implement that. I'm good, it was a fun time. Kurt throws a rager. Yeah, he prepares for that every year. <clears throat> That's crazy. Today's Megan's uh, birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Everyone's got their new clothing on. It's nice. Oh, I gotta reshoot the whole trailer. Only because characters wear hoodies now. Isn't it? Isn't it her birthday? Am I wrong? All right, so maybe I implement the conversational system that... Oh, it's like the day? Oh, I thought it was the day before for some reason. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow is my anniversary. Ooh. Nine years we've been married. I just got here. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about you. I'm talking about uh, your significant other's birthday. Man, nine years, right? Isn't that crazy? We've been together for 13 years. And we'll be married for nine. It's crazy. 
Uh, Kurt, can you can you stop yelling? Kurt, can can you keep it down, please? It's very early. You don't need to yell. No, no, no. Can everyone stop yelling, please? Just, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I have a few ideas. There's a few things I want to do. I want to implement the GUI or some kind of system that allows you to go to the PR person and uh, you know, do PR, help, you know, kind of broadcast that you're having this event, you're having, you want to do a game night or something, you want to do RPG night, and I want her to control the power, uh, your, um, the leveling up of your reach, you know, like advertising. Fixed it, like and subscribe everyone, yay. Yeah. So, do I wanna make that gooey? Or do I wanna make Halloween decorations? I said earlier that I was gonna wait for the riffraff to make Halloween decorations. I'm not a butcher, Kurt knows who I am. Actually, I should like do a thing where guess who, who am I for Halloween? Wrong guesses only. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. Why is it so big? Alright, anyone who guesses correctly gets uh, a congratulations and a shout out. Yeah, you don't know who I am? Oh man, Evan knows who I am. Where's Ev be? Get Ev be in here, he'll know who I am. All right, uh, so how do I wanna do this PR system? What do you, what do you think? Should I, oh, maybe I'll, Finally, figure out how to make a poll, and then I'll ask. I'll ask you two. <laughs> it'll be a poll of two, and it'll be great. Uh, what should I do? Let's see. I go to Creator, Stream Manager. I know how to do this. Manage a poll. Create new poll. Question. What should I do? Finish Stella. <laughs> no one's gonna want that. Make Halloween decorations. And what's what could be a third thing? A minion? What do you mean a minion? Is because I'm bald? Are you really making a bald joke? Bald guy making a bald joke? Um, a third thing I need to do is. And the damn demo. <laughs> Should this cost per vote? No. Duration. Do 10 minutes. Start the poll. Did that work? There you go. Now you can vote. Please vote. Please vote on what I should do this stream. I knew you were going to choose that. I basically made that for you. Mm. 
I mean, going all out. I put on an apron and I put on a, a Halloween YouTube clip. I guess that is going all out. <clears throat> well, until the poll is over, I'm going to continue making Stella. All right, so the things I want her to control. Where's my obsidian? Kurt, I'm going to need you to vote, please. Hmm. And what else is on this list that I didn't do yet? Meeting time. All right. Enjoy your meeting. A phone item that rings. I don't need that, I don't think. Conversations that inform you of a future visit from an amount of guests and the required decorations. So, I have the calendar event. I don't have a conversation or any kind of indication of what's required. Right now, the guest group just shows up when I hit a button. He could have voted. He could have. So now it's possible. I'm going to vote. I'm going to say, finish Stella. So now you guys have to outvote me. <laughs> you need one more vote <laughs> to change the tides. Because if it's a tie, then it's streamer's choice. <laughs> hey, man. That's how life works. Uh, GUI listing events that have called and presented themselves to you. So I need to do that too. So the GUI, what should the GUI be? Should it be like, um, should the GUI that you, so you talk to the PR person and a GUI pops up and the GUI you need to be able to, all right, let's plan that. The PR GUI. So the things you need to do in the PR GUI, you need to, You do it. Yeah, like yeah, just like this, and then like this. No. Oh my God! Why? Gonna get cough. Go get cough. Am I in your ear? Are we in your kitchen yet? Say, say we're in your kitchen. Haha! <laughs> I can't hear you. Can't believe you said that. Um. So the PR person, they need to be able to set these events. Set, we, so we need a list of uh, possible fun, guest events, guest group <clears throat> events. And, hmm. and a way to set them on the calendar. So maybe you choose what day they show up on a calendar menu. Hmm? Um, maybe when you go to her, she also says, oh, I got a DM from some person and someone requests a day. So, there's ones that you set, and then there's ones that get set by the NPCs. And uh, those are gonna be the more like, um, like the weddings kind of thing, or like the, maybe the business meetings, I don't know. Something that is m less of an event that you throw, less of a party atmosphere, and more of like a planned event by person. So, you need a list of group events, and a way to set them on the calendar. We need um, <clears throat> a list of group events the NPCs are requesting on specific days. We need uh, to level up. So she should level up your reach. Level up your reach. And when I say reach, that's like a skill. The you know how far your your advertising reaches and. I already have these set up. There's local, local, uh, statewide, uh, national, and international. So, statewide. So that's funny because 
That's what it should be called. Right now it's called City. And, um... Statewide's way better. It took me three years to think of that. Let's change that. So, reach. Statewide. Is statewide one word? Advertise to the people in the entire state. Statewide reach increased. Let me just make sure that's one word. Statewide. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, oof. Um, I really hope someone votes uh, for make Halloween decorations before the timer goes out. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate if it didn't. <laughs> then I can't make Halloween dark wishes. My, my, my hands are tied. Also, it's really freaking cold in here and I might have to put a hoodie on, which will ruin my Halloween decoration. Ah, uh, welcome back. You need to go find someone to help you vote. You gotta, you gotta get some, uh, some help, some friend help. Ugh. All right, um, so the GUI requires all these things. What else does the GUI need? You know, I already have a GUI that's that lists skills. Maybe I can, um, maybe I can just use that. Maybe I can duplicate that, use it, and um, just go from there. It'll be way easier. And then I can add a tab to that GUI. So that GUI already has a list of skills that you upgrade. And then maybe there's a tab that's like post event. And when I do my GUIs for real, these are all kind of temp. You know, it should probably be, uh, it should look like the Instagram interface or the TikTok interface. So let's see. Oh, right. And I also wanted her to like um, accept photos, like new photos. So if you took a photo of like a decoration, like, oh, you got a new decoration. Now I can tell the world. Uh, yeah, I do want to do that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So it needs to incorporate this as well. Maybe it doesn't need to be... Um, doesn't need to be in the GUI. It could just be like a concept. Uh, accept photos. Stella PR NPC plus GUI. Okay. Accept photos of new decorations to tell the world. And what this will do is unlock, like, um, if an NPC has a decoration requirement, like, they'll only visit if you have a hot tub. <laughs> I do not visit hotels that do not have hot tubs. Then they'll start showing up when you show her the photo of the hot tub, because she'll post it on her, on your social media. Hmm. Oof. Dougie. I like the snobby guests. Can you relate? Also, do you like my new Twitch logo? I took the dog away for certain reasons. <laughs> oh shit, the poll ended and all. <laughs> That's too bad. How pathetic. All right. Um, well, guess what? I was planning on doing it anyway. I was planning on doing it anyway. I got a pumpkin here. What am I gonna do with this pumpkin, huh? Maybe a little bit of Halloween decorations? 
Uh, I didn't really start it. This uh, I have this pumpkin from from a pack, and I was just gonna make a cute pumpkin decoration. And I'm so I'm looking at it now, and it might be hard to carve holes because, <clears throat> excuse me, these um these like protrusions are really big. So let me let me kind of deflate them a little. Just a little. Yep. That's better. And then. Okay, and now I want to make a cute pumpkin. Actually, you know what? These. I might need, like, to completely get rid of them. Was easy. A wee wee, Nick the Nee Nee. <laughs> He's cute. I wanted to make a cute one. I want to make this guy. So I was just testing um, what it would look like when I poke holes, and it looks like I need to uh, make an inside at least. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Or I can just make those polygons black and uh, call it a day. Excuse me. So I do want it to be way cuter. Um, the problem is, wait, is this symmetrical? Probably not. Problem with tiny, cute features is they're hard to see. And if they're hard to see, then they're hard to... Wait, where did where did my pumpkin go? There he is. Let's keep him on the side for reference. Okay. How are you, Nick? How are you doing, Nick? Happy Halloween! And then I need this tiny little mouth. Oh wait, what did I just hit? I wanted to hit you. Okay, um, I will keep those polygons for now. I'm probably going to delete them. Oh, you know what? I'll delete them and then make a... Just make a blackout polygon. Just one. That is not cute. That is not cute. <laughs> let's make, Let's see if I can make it cute. So, oh god, nope, 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 okay.
That's not cute. Oh god, it's so not cute. <laughs> it's, it's hideous. I hate it. Oh my god. Let's see if I can fix it. It just looks like, since it's in the crevice, it just, it's a little creepy. I might need a creviceless pumpkin. Let me get rid of that, uh... Let me get rid of the crevice. As best I can. Make the crevice yellow. Um, I'm not gonna do gradients or anything. Wait, why are the UVs, why are the normals all messed up? Does not like this. Oh, it hates it. Oh, do I need to like unlock the normals? Are they being funky? Unlock, there we go. Oh, okay. <sighs> Looks way better. <laughs> okay, I don't mind it so much anymore. It's not hideous anymore. I think I just need to make like the eyes smaller. And then it's getting cuter. It's getting cuter. It is improving. <laughs> How's that? So I need like a, I need just one polygon in there that's black. good. Combine them. And I need to give them a material. Give them the existing mat mat. <laughs> mat mat. He's alright. He's not perfect. But you know, who is? Who is perfect? Where are his UVs though? UVs, UV shell. He doesn't have UVs. Let's just give me UVs. Oh, so annoying. Everything made in Blender has this. Oh, no, no UVs at all. Just zero UVs. It's very rare and hard to do. <laughs> How do you delete UVs? Also, this bar is killing me. Why is this bar here? What if I, okay, no. What if I minimize you? Nope, it's just there forever. It's just there forever. All right, uh, UVs. Get some UVs, brah. Hmm. Create planar. Yep, and then I, I do want a different color for the stem. Oh, is the stem separate? Perfect. 
it's already separate. So I have an orange. I have a black. And I have a brown. And is that it? <laughs> How does he look? Is he ridiculous? He's too ch he's too fat. Like his face is too small for his fat body. And he needs to be rounder. He's got like a What happens if I just make his face a little or hmm. he, or yeah, I think I need to like just make him rounder. Maybe his face just needs to be bigger. Oh, the crows. It's kind of disturbing because the crows wake me up like every freaking day. So to hear them in this, it's like, oh, no. That's better. That's better. He's improving. That's that. Should I have a scary one too? I mean, this is a cute one. Should you have a leaf? Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't like the divot. It's annoying. I just want it to be rounder. Oh, now he's got a flat head. All right, you get out of here. Soft selection, surface only, please. Just want this to be a little rounder, right? Like that, yeah. Okay, it's better. Maybe a grumpy one or a sad one. Just like flip his face upside down. I feel like I want to remove, I want to continue removing some of the crevice stuff. I'll just smooth it and sculpt it. Although these look like eyebrows, it's kind of funny. But the eyebrows, they give it too many features, you know, I just want to smooth it out, you know, smooth it out. A smooth sculpt brush. It's so satisfying. He's got a fat butt. Oh god, he's got such a fat butt. 
Gotta fix his fat butt. Alright. How's that? Is he cute yet? He's not totally cute. It's possible it's like the sharp edges on the eyes, like he needs more polygons. I mean, I don't want to add more polygons. Let's see. Hotkeys are so weird. I'm used to Windows, but I'm on a Mac. And everything's just reversed. My hand is confused. I think that technically is better. So this this eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rounder is better. Uh it's control shift. Control shift slide. Sometimes it gets sticky though, and it gets stuck in that mode, and you gotta go into here and uh, transform constraint off. It's a good one, though. Curdy Bear, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so it's possible that it's these eyebrows that are bothering me. Let's sculpt them away. Oh, no. It's peeking. It's peeking through. Oh, I was going to actually delete these polygons because I don't need them to go all the way around, right? I can just kind of cut them. Cut them here. Cut them here. Bye bye. I don't need you. I don't need you in my life. Let's tuck you in. All right. All right. It's getting cuter. It's getting cuter. Maybe the eyes are too big now. is that the soft normals are making him look rotten what do you mean like color wise or it's fine now you had him smooth before I think I, I think I want to make these inner polygons a different color too, just accentuate it. Let's do that. I could just make it a very slightly darker orange, or I can use this orange. Uh, nah, he looks emo. <laughs> I'll just make it a darker orange. Also, should he actually just be that brighter orange to begin with? Like, is that, that's better, right? Yeah, that's better. Uh, 
Okay. And then, um, yeah. Let's soften all these. Soften, soften, soften. Yeah. So he's not going to emit much light, and it's also not very cute from up here. Like, this is the camera angle, right? It's not very cute from up here. I feel like I need to play with, like, the shape of the pumpkin to just force it to be cuter. Although, I don't want to spend too much time on it. It's fine. It's fine! Let's get into the game. Um, I think I need to put, so I did want this to like cast light out of its face and cast like a smiley face light, but I might not be able to do that. This, the, the face holes are too small. And this black, so this black card, I guess needs to be a separate material. Let's make it a separate existing we'll make it um we'll make a new actually a new material called surface shader and then we'll call it uh, no render or no cast shadow okay so now in unity i'll have to remember like that's no cast shadow Do this. Is that better? <laughs> no. What if I make it really thin? Okay, that's actually better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now he's cute. Alright. Done. Don't forget to save. Don't forget to save. I feel like I already had a version 12, but I don't see it, so. Incepted. Is cough count? Mm. Um, happy Halloween to everyone. Everyone new joining us. Please guess who I am for Halloween. You get a prize if you win. Tired of everything being cute? I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Tired of you being tired. It's gotta be cute. You make a cute game, things gotta be cute. There's real ugliness in the world and I think it should be celebrated. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. <laughs> Furniture. Oops. Okay, so the jack-o'-lantern is kind of like a lamp, so let's start with the lamp, the core lamp.
His eyes are all messed up. I don't like the shadows. And it's because they are inset here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just protrude them a little. You're Butcher Barnaby. Come on, how do you guys not know who I am? How do you not know? I mean, I guess I need the wig. Without the wig, I'm nothing. Tell us. Tell us, he says. Go get the wig. What do you mean, the wig, like I have one? Come on, I'm Carmi from the bear. You've never seen the bear either, Kurt? What the hell? Oh. Oh. He did it. He remembered who the bear was. Ah, better. Honestly, I knew the moment I saw you and I didn't even see the burr. Are you just messing with me this whole time? Alright, uh, I, I don't like the way the light is. It's almost like I don't want this thing to cast a shadow. Uh, let's see. Or I just don't want this thing to be a spotlight? Can it be a point light? And then if I put it inside the jack-o'-lantern. And then I make the jack-o'-lantern not cast a shadow. Oh, it doesn't cast shadows already, so. Spotlight. It's a point light now. And it doesn't need to be as strong as a lamp would be, so let's just knock that back a bit. It should flicker though, right? It should flicker like a lamp, like a, like a little fire. Tussle gang for life, ah, oh, it's so painful. Tussle gang. Cute. Jack o' lantern. Cute. So this one, so the item name is not going to be called Jack o' lantern. Cute. It's going to be called Cute. Jack o' lantern. And then a cute Jack o' lantern. And then. Well, the plural. Cute Jack O Lanterns. You see how that works? Uh, let's see, what can the item description be? Not that scary. <laughs> I thought Halloween was supposed to be scary. There we go. <laughs> period. It is usable. It is equipable. It is sellable. It is removable. It is a decoration. It does it go in your arm? Yeah, it should be a one handed carry. Um, preview prefab none. Uh, Jack o' lantern. Okay. Then this needs to actually make the jack-o'-lantern. Then this needs to spawn the jack-o'-lantern, and then we're done. Jack-o'-lantern in the game. Let's see. Let's test it. Hmm. Does anyone have actual Halloween plans? Uh, 
or is this more of a I had a party some other day and I don't do anything on the day kind of day? Are we all at that age where Halloween itself mean is meaningless? It's just the pop the parties that orbit around Halloween. I feel like I'm at the age where it's nothing. No parties and no uh <laughs> and no actual day. Oh, I'm gonna go out. You're gonna go out, Nick? You have to hand out candy, right? You have a house. Uh, nobody shows up to my apartment. Nobody. Oh, I also need a an icon. Also, how do you spell jack o' lantern? Where is it? A B C D E F G H I J K. Where is it? Am I crazy? Do you guys see it? Cute jack o' lantern. Oh, it's a lamp. Cute jack o' lantern. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then if I turn it on, look at that. <laughs> that's uh, that's Halloween. It's too bright. I think it's too bright, and it sh maybe it should be like more orange. The risk of unwanted modifications. Exit, exit, exit. We don't want that. Mm. More orange. Less bright. Is there any other de decorations I should make? Call it out. Spend your dash on it. <laughs> or just say it and I'll make it. What are, what are other good Halloween decorations? some tombstones a banner of bats a banner of bats is interesting like a wall decoration you know I guess I could do that Like this? Weird. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Randomals? Horse-shaped shark figurine. It's a toy. Hmm. I can do a giant fuzzy spider. I feel like Halloween decorations in fall, like if you place the decoration in fall on your inn, it, it like gives you a huge boost. But then if it trickles over, if you still have them in winter or, some, or any other season, it's actually a negative impact. Should I teach the world a lesson? Right? Yeah. I feel like it'll force you to just like decorate for the holiday and it'll be a great way to boost your inn's decorations um, temporarily and collect that season's decorations. So obviously there's there'll be holiday themed uh, December holiday themed decorations. There'll be fall uh, Halloween style decorations. What would summer and spring be? What can be there? Um, seasonal decoration boost yeah that's a pretty good idea yeah maybe i'll just make that system right now 
Ah, feature creep. I love feature creep, but I love features. I do look like a butcher, don't I? Don't encourage me to make that feature. You know what that means. It means coding. If you don't come up with more Halloween decorations for me to make, I'm just going to make that feature. So it would be in the stats, which is in the decoration interactable. This is where my stats are, right? So it would be a checkbox that says seasonal. And that's it. And it basically just, instead of adding, I uh, subtract those stats if it's seasonal. Um, so I have here stats and, uh, do I have a get stats? So, okay. I could do this in a few places. I could do it in the decoration stats, like the main stats, but I feel like it's a sub, it's a sub thing. Like it's a, It's like a modifier of this. I don't really want to change this. I don't want to add a checkbox here. But maybe I should, maybe a decoration stat, they should all be seasonal. And it's possible that uh, I don't want to actually like subtract. I just want to null them out. Like they, you actually get no benefit. Uh, yeah, what are your choices, Nick? What kind of juices? Hmm. So stats list, I do have up here. Um, it would be here. Public. Bool. Seasonal. Oh, or I do a seasonal checkbox. Public. Season checkboxes. Seasonal. And then uh, what I do is I kind of want them all to be checked on by default, right? But that will change a lot of other shit in the game already. So I don't want to do that. Now, how do these get calculated? Let's see. This is how you add them. So in the decoration stats, this is how you add them. So you add them from source. So you list them, string modifications. Okay, so that just provides data for the modifications. So the, all the calculation is actually done in the base class. So get total stats, multiply stats, remove all modifiers. And a stat. So I basically need to check the season and I need to check if it compares to the current season we're in. And then I just need to return zero if it's uh, not checked. Or if none of them are checked, then okay. So let's see. Down here, I'll do public or private bool is seasonal. 
if seasonal dot fall is true or seasonal dot spring or seasonal dot winter or seasonal dot summer if any of these are checked then we return true i could just return that <laughs> okay so if any of these are true we are seasonal any of them if none of them are true then we're not seasonal okay so if we're seasonal then we want to private bool maybe i'll just do the entire calculation here and should and it's basically like a should we nullify this so okay seasonal so if we're seasonal Hmm. Okay, what is happening? Okay, these are my uh, factor juices. I only have three left. Apple, beet, ginger, pineapple, turmeric, basil, orange, carrot, ginger. Are you doing a juice cleanse? Are you only consuming juice? So if we're seasonal, if we're not seasonal, I want to return false. Oh, I feel like I need three options. Don't do anything. Or, oh, okay, no. So if it's seasonal, return false. Is off season. Okay, okay, okay. It's nullify or don't nullify. Returning false is not nullifying. Wow, so I've written the word season so many times that it doesn't make any sense. Is that how you spell seasonal? Seasonal? <laughs> All right, so if we return true, it means nullify it. So I need to see if this season equals a checked season, return true. Otherwise, return false, and then um, we're good to go. Time system dot instance dot current season i don't have a get current season current time get current get season get month ah get month do i have a get month no nope. current time dot get month So get month relative, get relative month in, yeah, get relative month. So this will just be a value between zero and three. And I feel like I just want to return, um, I just want to return the season, get season. So I'll just make a quick one, let's get season. which is basically this function. So where is get relative month? Relative month is here. Public season, get season. And then I want to return So let's get current day, get current relative month. Oof. And then default 
It's not gonna like it. I'm just gonna return. I'll just return spring. Just for shits. All right, so now we can get the current season. Gets current season enum. Great. And then seasonal checkboxes. So it looks like I have a, a thing that's match. So now I can just pu plug in the day. I should probably also have one that takes the enum. Season, and then we'll do season. Why isn't season a thing? Oh, because it's a month, right? Season, no, public enum. Oh, because it's part of Timekeeper. It's part of Timekeeper, and you cannot. Yeah. There we go. So it takes the season. And if it equals spring, summer, fall. Thanks, Dojo. Anyone else? Oh, right. I should choose apple beet, ginger. I mean, they actually all sound pretty good. Do you not like... Uh, do you not like the beet or the turmeric flavors in those? Beets? I don't mind beets in um, in juices. Turmeric, I don't think it tastes good. It's, you just gotta get past that like bitterness of it. And it tastes like, it kind of tastes like dirt. <laughs> turmeric has a very earthy, dirty taste to it. I would know I'm a chef. Master chef, Michelin star even. All right, so now I can ma I can see if it's a match. So if any of these are a match. So I don't want to do this. I just want to get season. And if seasonal dot match is time system dot instance dot get current or current time yeah. dot get season so if it's a match we return true that means hey this is seasonal and it's a match and if it's not we return false So we return false, that means don't return zero. Don't nullify the stats. I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say apple. I choose apple, beat as well. Eat the apple, drink the apple one. Oh, wait a minute. So, okay, so I'm returning. So if I check fall, that means I want to nullify non-fall. So I basically say, if it's seasonal, get the season. If it's not a match, if it's not a match, return true. If it is a match, we return false. So if it is a match, we return false. If it's not a match, we return true. So now, what does this all mean? We want to base, do we want to add a modifier that's like a, ooh, that, is that smarter to just add a seasonal modifier? That would have been way smarter. 
get total stats. If seasonal is off season, return zero. The problem is that these stats are sometimes they're not gotten by the get total. They're they're gotten by um, just individually. So it's almost yeah. I feel like I need to add a modifier to it. So instead of uh, this, let's let's go to modifiers. Ooh, we're dipping into stats. Stat modifier. Um, there's types. Stat modifier. Let's add a new type. Percent additive. Percent multiplier. It's almost like every day the decoration has to go, hey, what day is it? Should I be nulled? And then we null it. FB! Come on, you know who I am for Halloween. No one's actually no. Mike said he guessed it, but he didn't tell me because he was tussling with me. Will you tussle with me too and not know who I am? All right. So who should check? Where's your little mouse? That is not who I am. Damn it! I don't think Luigi wore a. Nah, his name's not Luigi. What was it? Fettuccini? <laughs> Linguini. I don't think Linguini wore an apron. Linguini. No, he just wore a white coat. I mean, I'm just looking at this. Let's see. Yeah, I think he just wore a white, a white coat, no apron. I see we're gonna tussle me though. It's fine, it's fine. You can tussle me. Not know who I am, even though you know who I am. It's all I ever care is that people know who I am. All right, so I just added all that stuff. Um, but someone has to say, hey, this is seasonal. And the stat modifier. So I want to do a seasonal one. Seasonal equals. So these numbers are actually like the priority. Um, percent multiplier. Seasonal is number one. Number one priority. Or it should happen last and just, yeah, yeah, it should happen last. So 500. Right? Yeah, it should happen last and just basically say, hey, it's over. Your time is up. Calculate final value. So here's where I check if it's seasonal. So the stat needs to be, the stat needs to have the checkbox. Oh no. These are not, uh, I can't set these anywhere. Mm -hmm. Does the stat modifier know about the stat? Oh, but the stat knows about. So the stat does have a base value. I could add checkboxes to the stat itself. This is actually, oh my God, this is so complicated. I can't believe I'm trying to do this right now. Why is it so hard to change these stats? So you just don't want them to know too much. Oh, you know, okay, I know what I could do. So what I could do is overwrite the get function. Here we go. I can overwrite the get function 
and I can return a null stat if it's not seasonal. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's do that. So activities never get nulled because I don't know, they're decorations. I really only need to do it here. Set. Set is whatever. I don't want to change set, but do I have to? I might have to. Comfort equals value. So I think that'll just do that. That's just the standard set. And then the get is if off season. Seasonal. If seasonal. Why can't I call is off season? I made it public, right? No, I made it private. Gotta make it protected. Okay, this is the this is the thing. This is where to do it. It is off season. Let's actually get rid of that stat mod here. Not going into that. If is off season, then return a new stat that's basically empty. Can I do that? It's not, it doesn't, oh, it's because, there we go. Why doesn't it like this? Oh, because if it's not else, return comfort. Okay. So if it's off season, uh, I don't think Devin knows what you're talking about. Nick the Nini needs help uh, choosing a juice to drink. So if you can scroll up and help him choose juice, I think that would help him a lot. All right, so this should work, right? Is if it's off is off season. Just re return nothing. This new stat, an empty stat, should be nothing. What did I choose? I chose apple as well. Drink the apple one. So this one's style. So it's functions. Style, style, function function okay <laughs> this is so much code for such a small thing let's see if that works so i need oh no it crashed it crashed why you do can you explain why you're doing this um this juice cleanse Do you feel unhealthy? While I hook up a puppy cam, let's get the puppy cam going. Yeah, they are very good for you. Puppy cam. Ready for puppy cam? Puppy cam. Always sleeping down there. Always check to see if she's breathing. I see movement.
Okay, Cam. Did I make that a channel reward? I think I did. Show us your dog. Yeah, there it is. All right. I want to make that permanent. Hold on one second. gonna happen. We're gonna get a permanent puppy cam. I think it worked. It worked. There we go. We have a permanent puppy cam now. Let's make it small. Put it in the corner. <laughs> it's kind of janky because it's just sharing the screen of my phone in like photo mode, but. Why oh, is she so tiny? Pep, are you okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's okay. So now everything I do has to just be like over on the side. Hopefully it doesn't switch over to my album. I have nothing dangerous in there. I got nothing dangerous in there. Um, but now I need to make it so it's always on top. Can I do that? Make a window always on top. Mac. Control space, really? That didn't work. Nope. How to keep your application window always on top. Pin application using keyboard shortcuts. Hold down the following command option T. Command option T. That's not a thing. Click on it. Hold down the following keys simultaneously. Command option A O T. That's not a thing. You don't know who I am? Come on, man. I'm Carmi. I'm Carmi from the bear. Why do I gotta why do you guys gotta tussle me like this? Just know who I am. I know you knew. I just want you to say it. I just want you to say, it. uh oh, wait, so it crashed and then when I opened it, it immediately crashed again. I need a wig, I know, I'm bald. What do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? I'm a bald guy. His hair is very iconic. Although he does, so there's pictures of him off 
camera, like in his normal everyday life with a turquoise hat. I have the same hat. But it's in the clo it's in my closet and I didn't feel like getting it. Plus that's off camera Carmi. So if I just search uh, his name, Jeremy Allen. <laughs> Wait. Jeremy Allen in a hat. <laughs> Not the LA hat, which I, I mean, I have an LA helmet, but I don't have the LA hat. Wait, he wears a Mets hat. He, he wears a Mets hat and an LA hat. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> I guess that's what happens to actors. They move to LA <laughs> from New York <laughs> and then they like the Mets. So this is a problem. It keeps crashing immediately, right? That's not good. And it's not even saying, hey, do you want to open this in safe mode? So I think it's because of this. Since these are public, it can't serialize this properly. So that sucks. So let's get rid of that for now. And I need to come, I thought I was so smart. I thought I was so smart. This is the way. And all I did was crash everything. I hope, oh, I hope all my values didn't reset. Oh no, that would've been horrible. That means every decoration in the game will have lost its uh, <laughs> its stat, which means uh, horrible things. I would have to revert everything I've done. Please say it ain't so. I'm sorry about all the ugly wires. <laughs> Underneath my desk is not a pretty place. Why do they censor the word ginger? Because it could be offensive to some people. And you were being offensive? You said ginger is gross? Yeah. You can't call gingers gross. But you're talking about the food. So it's okay. All right, we're back. We're back. So that was the problem. And did I did I destroy everything? Oh God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. Um. Um. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettio. Hot plate. It has no... Something's... Oh, God. Yeah, something bad happened. Everything lost their decorations. So, let's see. I might have to um, do something drastic here. Mm, this happens all the time. I freaking hate it. So problem detected while importing prefab. Corrupt or missing. Yeah, so I corrupted everything. That sucks. Don't save. That's horrible. Uh, that could mean that could mean a lot of missing work. Let's see. I have to revert. Let's see what we're gonna lose. Oh no! Of all Stella's stuff.
and all the character props. Okay, are there any devs out there? I need dev help. <laughs> are there any devs out there that know Git? I need to revert everything, but I don't want to lose all this stuff. No, God, that's the last thing I need. This jokes, this is upsetting. <laughs> no. It's possible I want to like branch this off. Save these into the branch. Oh man, I can't believe I corrupted that stuff. That's horrible. Let's just reopen it one more time and see what happens. Oh god. I'm so scared. I... Why would this happen? Because I try to get fancy. I tried to get fancy. And we got... We got bit. And I tried to be lazy. So I tried to get fancy and be lazy at the same time. And that bit us in the butt. Maybe everything will just be okay right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, fuck. Nah, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. Oh my god. So everything lost their decoration. And what does that mean? That means that... And it's funny because it didn't actually throw an error this time. Hmm. Let's try something. If I make a new branch, does making a new branch in Git remove changes? Will creating a branch delete my local changes? Uh, if you create a new branch from the current head using checkout new branch, then changes will not be overwritten. Quite correct. As long as the OP hasn't committed any changes to the wrong branch yet, the important thing to understand is that the branch is merely a pointer to commit. So when you do this, all you're doing is creating a new pointer to the current commit. Okay. In your case, oh, I can stash. Move uncommitted working di uh, directory changes to a new branch, then save it to the git stash. Git stash save, then create the checkout then pop your working directory changes back from git stash. Okay, so maybe I can stash it, revert, and then unstash it. <laughs> so this is where I need I need someone who's good at git just to confirm that I'm doing the right thing. I just posted on the on the game dev uh, field guide requesting help. Emergency help. Oh, let's see. Can, is this safe? So what exactly does git stash do? Git stash. I'm sorry this is getting... You know what? I will deal with this off stream. Let's get back to making something. I'll keep puppy cam in the corner. Does anyone else have ideas for Halloween decorations? FB? Nick? I got a pumpkin. A skeleton? Skeletons? That's too complicated. I can't make that quick. A ghost? Well, what kind of... Well, what do you mean? Like, what kind of ghost? Candy bowl? 
Actually, a candy bowl is a pretty good idea because it could be like something you put on a table and then people come and take candy from it once in a while. Spidey webs. But like, it has to be a self-contained thing that you put somewhere. So like spider webs, you decorate on things. A candy bowl, candy bowl is cool. You put it on a table, so it's like a an elaborate decoration that is an, also an activity. In the window, so it's like a wall, so a wall decoration. Crystal ball. Hmm. Nah. A witch in the sky. It's just like place it in the sky. How does it stay up there? How does it stay up there? Hmm. I like the idea of a wall decoration. I could do those, the bat garland. Bat garland. Should I do the bat garland? to the side so I can see it <laughs> oh my god the puppy cam it just makes me realize how sad the dog is so sad let's see real quick uh, that decoration AI no no no, no. get out of here I like these bats better. Okay. There we go. get combined or I need one more
All right, how is that? He's extremely attractive. <laughs> I don't love these. Uh... Maybe I'll just do two and I'll, I'll be able to round it better. There we go. That's better. But it's not cute. It needs to be cute, right? Nick, right? It's gotta be cute. Nick knows. Nick loves cute things. So I don't actually need this. And I don't need this, and I don't need this, and technically don't need this. Oh, I can't move it. Because symmetry. I'll actually keep that one just in case. I once saw a sign in a car that said, no baby on board, please crash into me as hard as you can. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I mean, it's funny. The sentiment is, I'm sorry I'm driving so slow, there's a baby on board. But I do appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, that's great. All right, enough of this stupid bat. I just want to soften it. That's really good. That is really good. Evan bought me a delicious coffee the other day and it's all I want. My homebrew is too regular today. You gotta get him, what are you making at home? Aren't you doing French press? It should come out okay. You should start doing pour over. Coffee snob. Coffee snobbery. Pour over. Where the hell is transform? There it is. Okay, that should do it. There we go, look at that bat. So now let's make a bunch. So 
So it's a wall decoration, so it needs to go against this wall. That's why I have it here. And they're a little big, so should it be like two walls wide? So to put it up, you need two empty wall spaces. right in the center. You know what, let me just... Uh... Ooh. This is actually supposed to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there, there, there. String them all together with some string. Quad brute. Oh, what's happening? Uh, we're out of grinds, so it's Nespresso today. But Nespresso is gross. It's gross. Okay, we have string, and we got bats, let's merge them, merge, and let's bend them. Bend, 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 form, nonlinear bend. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that. How's that? Is that fun? Where's my other wall decoration? Does it get in the way? So let's say let's say you have a lantern there. For instance. It doesn't. And then the lantern can also be here. Yeah, that's totally fine. They can overlap. And it can also be here. That's kind of fun. Should they be bigger? I feel like they should be chunkier. Let's just make these a little chunkier. Yeah. Otherwise you'll never see them. Now they need a material. <sighs> should they be shiny? Like plastic? They should be. If they're gonna be fully black, they should be shiny. Yes, <laughs> that looks great. So these are called the Bat Garland. 
It's spooky time. What is the what is the correct term for this? Like what is the phrase for these? Banner? Bat banner? But banner is like a <laughs> Ooky spookster banner. Is it a banner? Let's see. Let's see. If I search bat banner, I get bat banners. If I search bat garland, <laughs> I get bat garland. It's kind of the same. I'll do banner. Garland's a little fancy. Bat string. All right, I'll do string. Should I actually do bat ghost, bat ghost? You think it's Bruce Banner? <laughs> Guys got jokes. Guys got jokes. All right, let's throw them in the export set. Ah, oh, so I can't implement it because oh, I need to do some horrible things tonight and somehow fix my project. <laughs> Did any devs join us? Did any devs come into the stream that can help me with Git? I need confirmation before I totally wipe away about a week of work. Oh, Tuna, I see you messaging me. Uh, I don't know if you're out there. Or if you even saw what happened, but everything got corrupt and I need to go back, but I want to save all my current all my current work. I'm gonna type it in the Discord too. Reflog. What is git reflog? Git reflog command. Uh... Oh, reflogs. <laughs> reflog. It's reflog. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. Well, Google is spamming me to join this waitlist for AI powered boost. I don't want it. How to use git ref log. Git ref log is used to record updates made to the tip of the branch. It allows you to return to commits, even to the ones that are not referenced by any branch or any tag. After rewrite history, the ref log includes information about the previous states. I don't understand that. That is, this. I, all I understand is bad garland right now. Should I make ghost garland? All right, I'm gonna have to do some some better research. Ghost banner. Oh, these are adorable. Yes, I'm gonna make these. <laughs> Those are really cute. Oh my God. Can't believe it. So I basically just want, yeah, should I make just one flip it, make a face? Okay.
Um, I feel like I should start with cylinder. <laughs> It's 12. Oh, shoot. You're right. I gotta go. Thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me know. Let's, uh, do I have a meeting right now? Oh, God, I just got the meeting notification. No, I don't. I don't know why I got that. Weird. Hey, pup, say goodbye. Puppy, say goodbye to everybody. Should we find someone to raid? Let's find someone to raid. Who's on? Hmm. Nobody? Nobody. We're not going to raid anyone. We're just going to end it. Listen, everyone have a good Halloween, a safe Halloween. Uh, and, um,. I hope you have a good uh, couple of days. I'll see you Thursday. Uh, this was a spooky fun time, but I hope I can get my corrupt files back without any problem. I think I should be able to. That's why I'm not freaking out right now, but we'll see. And uh, I'll see you all Thursday. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.